Hello and welcome to the Inns of Court Armoured Car Regiment channel. Today we'll be covering the Matador Squadron organisation from July the 4th 1944, their formation, until November 1944, which is their departure from the regiment. So the regiment's organisation during this period would have consisted of the regiment headquarters, the headquarters squadron consisting of a headquarters troop, intercom troop, admin troop and AA troop, caveat there, and then four sabre squadrons uh, of A, B, C and D squadron, and last but not least, the Matador squadron. So during this regiment's reorganisation on July the 4th, upon arrival in northwest Europe in Normandy, the heavy troops of each of the sabre squadrons were separated and merged together to form a Matador squadron under the command of Lieutenant Bottomley. Now, the reason why I believe the Matador squadron was formed was because the heavy troops were probably deemed to not be as effective as initially anticipated, especially in the Normandy countryside. And being that the, the scout cars, the dingoes, were found to be more effective, it was probably deemed that the Matadors probably weren't going to be that effective. So by splitting them off into a separate squadron, it meant that these heavy armoured cars could be held in reserve in order to respond to any holes that form in the line or any counterattacks that necessarily need to be done. But also it meant that it, there was this spare squadron which could be used to um, backfill uh, some of the other squadron's roles if necessary, but also uh, take up some of those optional or voluntary uh, actions that um, it aided the Allied forces, I guess you could say. So the Matador Squadron vehicle count we know would have consisted of at least four Daimler Dingo scout cars and at least eight AEC Mark III Matador armoured cars, although there is a caveat saying that there might have been potentially 12. Now the Matador troop was removed from the regiment by December 1944, but was still present in October 1944 based on the armoured car allotment tables recorded in the National Archive. So when it comes to the Matador Squadron formation there's a I guess a simple solution. The simple solution is to say that each heavy troop from the four squadrons continue to act as a individual troop uh, but the four troops working together as a squadron. So with the concept of four sabre troops consisting of matadors, with each sabre troop having one Daimler Dingo and two AEC Mark III Matador armoured cars, with the potential of there being a third one should it be deemed that there was 12 AEC armoured cars in total. So the big question is 8 or 12 Matadors. So the number of AEC Matadors in each troop is, I guess, kind of open to debate. The tables available at the National Archives list that the regiment had an assigned total of 8 AEC Matador armoured cars. This is shown in the allotment tables from June 1944 and October 1944. However, in the Inns of Court Regiment history, it does say they had 3 AEC Matadors in each heavy troop. And this is based upon the examination of several documents and discussion with various people. Such details are believed to be to give a reasonable, accurate picture of the Intercorp Regiment. Uh, that's the caveat that the author provides. Now, this table which shows free AEC Matadors shows the June 44, what well, was believed to be a June 1944 arrangement of the squadron, or the regiment I should say, and it shows three AEC Matadors in each heavy troop as per a heavy troop assigned to each Sabre squadron. However, I have a bit of a belief uh, that maybe there's a way that these two things can kind of line up. So my belief is that the Matador Squadron was formed and they did indeed have three Matadors per troop, but only had a total of eight Matadors. This would therefore render the numbers in the National Archives correct, but also in the Devil's Own to be slightly correct, I guess you could say, although the way it's presented in the Devil's Own, the regiment's history, isn't necessarily correct. So my belief is that the Matador Squadron was formed as such, with one Sabre Squadron headquarters consisting of two AEC Matador armored cars and two Sabre troops consisting of one De well, two Demna Dingoes and three AEC Matador armored cars. I feel that this kind of makes a bit more potential sense. I mean, this is entirely hypothetical, but this is just my concept. But it gives the Squadron a, a headquarters initially, which I think is something that 
is kind of lacking if you just take all the heavy troops and say they work together. And, and then it also enables the three matadors per troop. And this is potentially maybe where a potential confusion could be taken from maybe a document or a discussion uh, because the Matador Squadron never operated as a heavy troop upon arrival in Europe. As upon the arrival in Europe, the squadron of the regiment was completely reformed and the Matadors were folded into their own squadron. So if someone was asked, or well, how many Matadors were there in a troop, they might think they might probably only recall the Matador squadron and they'll probably recall the troop. Oh, they had three Matadors per troop, even though there was only two troops. At least that's my kind of concept and this is where my opinion comes from. So therefore, the Matador troop, in, or squadron, I should say, in my opinion, would look as per this, with the squadron headquarters and then the two Sabre troops. It, it's not, it doesn't give the, the whole squadron as much flexibility as any other squadron, um, but it does give them some form of flexibility, I guess you could say. Onto the caveats, obviously the AA troop was removed from the regiment by December 1944 and it's possible that it may have still been present in October 1944 although it's not recorded under the armoured car section, it might be recorded under the anti-aircraft asset section of the National Archives which haven't been looked at. Regarding references, obviously uh, warwheels.net, uh, the armoured cars in Europe 1944-1945, that basically is a 1996 armoured car journal article which has been republished online and it does dive into the National Archives and pulls out the numbers which is actually quite useful. There's also Taggart AF Needs Must which is a very old book but is very helpful although it does kind of show that the actions of the Matador squadron weren't really recorded by the other squadron's war diaries. Whether the Matador squadron kept their own war diary and it wasn't kept or whether they just weren't very busy on the book uh, bookkeeping uh, I guess is still open to debate. And then obviously DM Hatton with the Devil's Own, the Regiment's History, which is a very useful book and does obviously contain some further information on the squadron. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, cheerio.